everybody, it's Miss Joanne here at the library. And whoo, has it been a morning. I've been having such trouble getting connected. I don't know why, but here I am now. It says it's recording. So hopefully we can have a nice story time. And I kind of have sort of some, well, I have sort of spring-ish themed books here. Yes and no, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, the first book that I'd like to read today is a book called Biscuit and the Little Llamas. So there it is. Can you see that? And I'm sure you've read Biscuit books before. There we go. Oh, we're getting a lot of glare. Let's see. There, that's better. If I tilt it a little, it's better. Okay, so it's Biscuit and the Little Llamas, and it's an I Can Read book, and it says it's my first reading shared reading and it's by Alyssa Satin Capacilli and these are published by uh, this is Harper Collins Publishers okay and the pictures I bet are by Rose Mary Berlin in the style of Pat I'm not sure if she would say her name Shories or Scories Okay, and it says, for Maya Madeline, who loves the farm. And so I just thought I'd show you this page here because I, I liked it. There you go. See the little animals on the farm. See my fingers in the way. Okay, and um, let's see. So here's the title page. Biscuit and the Little Llamas. I can read. Okay, it's a great spring day on the farm, Biscuit. Biscuit says, woof, woof. And there's our picture. And they're going in the car to visit a farm. See the farm, the barn up there? See that there? And the silo next to it. And there's a, a I guess that's a cherry tree blooming. I think cherry trees are pink and apple trees are white, I think. There's always something new to see in the spring. And you know what Biscuit says? Biscuit, of course, it says, whoop, whoop, whoop. This way, Biscuit, let's see what we can find. What does Biscuit say? Whoop, whoop. Biscuit is so cute. Look, Biscuit, there are the piglets. Oink, oink, oink. And there they are, can you see them? Oink, oink, oink. And you found the new Colts, too. <laughs> and what do, you, what do you think Biscuit says? Whoop. And there are the Colts. See the little horses? Colts are little horses, baby horses. When they're just born, they call them a foal. F-O-A-L. Funny puppy, what do you see now? And Biscuit says, woof, woof. Can you see what he's doing? He's yanking on a rope. No tugging, Biscuit. Let's see what else is new on the farm. And what do you think Biscuit says? Woof, woof. Over here, Biscuit, there are soft lambs and goats. You see them over there? Let's get it nice and flat for you. There. There. I always go the wrong way. Woof, woof. And you can see them. There's the little the lambs are the white ones. And that little brown and white one is the goat. And then it's, oh no, Biscuit, not again. Biscuit is just playing tug of war with that. And Biscuit says, Now, Biscuit, there's so much to see on the farm. Can you see? She's looking at, oh, I think it's all veggies and things. Oh, and that must be a grown-up goat, maybe the mama goat. Oh, there's some veggies there and some tulips. What's that over there? I'm not sure what that's meant to be. Some lettuce. Oh, I bet you those are cucumbers, maybe, or zucchini. 
Let's see what else we can find. And what do you think Biscuit says? Whoop! He's still pulling on that rope. Look, Biscuit, come back. The chicks are over here. And Biscuit says, woof, woof. There we go. Can you see? Silly puppy, it's not time to play tug. Biscuit, let go. And there he's still with the rope. See that? Still with that rope. And what do you think he says? Woof. Biscuit, what did you find now? Woof, woof. What did he find? Biscuit found a little llama. Isn't that little llama cute? You found a little llama, Biscuit. Biscuit says, woof, woof. I have a feeling my wolf is a little too high pitched for Biscuit because even though he's a puppy, he's kind of a chunkier puppy. He's as big as my full grown doggies. And then she says, funny puppy, another llama found you. You can run and play with the llama's biscuits. Biscuit. <laughs> Woof. It's only one biscuit, not multiple biscuits. Aren't the llamas cute? They have little collars on made of, I don't know, one looks like pom-poms and the other looks like tassels. Can you see? Oh, I've got to watch out for things disappearing because there's the green screen behind me. You can lead the llamas to the fresh green grass. And Biscuit says, woof. And there's a whole parade. There's Biscuit and the two llamas and chickies and a kitty and the mama chick and the little girl. I don't know what her name is. She's never named. You can lead them to new friends too. Woof, woof. And there's the little girl is petting the llama, scratching its neck, it looks like, or about to scratch its neck. It's fun to see what's new on the farm in the spring, Biscuit. And do you see Biscuit's playing with the llama? I wonder if you think llamas play with balls? I don't know. I have to do a little research. I do see, see the goats in the background there? See the one is jumping around and the other is up on the bales of hay. And then there's another one down on the ground. They can jump like you wouldn't believe. They're quite amazing. If you ever have a chance, you can watch them if you can go to a farm somewhere or go on YouTube and with your mom or dad or your, your other grown up, put in baby goats. They're amazing to watch. They're adorable. They're so cute. Yeah, I think like goats, yeah. But they're adorable. And then the little girl says, it's even more fun to find something new all by yourself. That's what, oops, oh dear. We've got the problem with the green screen. Because that's what Biscuit did. He found the little llamas and they all had fun and they played. And what do you think Biscuit said? Can I hear you? Did you say it? Whoop, whoop. That's what Biscuit says. So that was Biscuit and the little llamas. Right. Alyssa Satin Capacilli. So I hope you enjoyed that book. I love biscuit books. I, I really want a pet biscuit, but of course, biscuit's just a little flat picture. So, so that was our biscuit book. Oh, okay. This one. Oh dear. Are we gonna have we're gonna have issues with this one? Oh dear. Well, maybe we're not gonna read that one then. Then we're gonna read a different one. We will re read this one. We will read the spring one. This is the spring book. Not much, I was gonna say not much green on there because you know, if you have the green screen, it makes it disappear. Do you see, this is all green here. And see what it did? It made it disappear, gosh, I don't know. I hope this will work. This is the spring book by Todd Carr. And the, let's see who the publisher of this one is. Mm -hmm. Todd Carr. Who published this book? Let's see. I am not sure. Mm -hmm. 
copyright Todd Carr. Oh, Hatchet Book Group. Okay. All right. And the dedication says, I am dedicating this book to the world in hopes that we can all work together to make everyone feel loved and respected. Love, Todd. And that's right over there. Up there in that part. Can you see? Oops. I don't know if you can read it. I took my glasses off, so I can't read it right now. I can read this, but I can't see the screen. Okay, so it says, wake up. Spring is coming. Oh, and the calendar on the wall says March. And there are three bears and they're in bed. And let's see, there we go. Get it up there. One bear says, yawn. And the other bear says, yawn. And the little bear says, I'm hungry. Well, actually, it's thinking I'm hungry. Every day the weather is different. There we go. Get it. So it says rainy, snowy, windy, sunny. And it's been like that, right? Yesterday it was really hot. Today I think it's going to be really hot again today. But the other day it was cold. Trees are blooming. Oops, whoops, gotta watch out for that green. There we go. <laughs> Trees are blooming, so I won't show you the grass part. But down by the grass are these cute little squirrelies. Oh dear, can you see the squirrelies <laughs> against the, the window? <laughs> it's funny. Everything, oh gosh, everything is turning green. Okay, that must have been for St. Patrick's Day. And <laughs> you can see all the parts that, oh, there we go. If I tip it, it's better. Tip, 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 there we go. So they're all there. It must be for St. Patrick's Day because there are shamrocks and all kinds of stuff. And change is in the air. This is International Women's Day. Stand up and speak out. Women's rights, because that's March is Women's Month. There we go. Let's tip it. There we go and get my finger off the person. There we go. All right. Spring is here. The birds are singing. Oh my gosh, there's a bird in an oh dear. Let's try it again. In the tree. There we go. If I keep it well tipped, you can see it. Babies are being born. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be hard. Let's see, okay, there we go. You see that, all the baby bunnies? Aren't they cute? Pink bunnies and blue bunnies and white bunnies, that's more normal. Purple bunnies, all different color bunnies. I haven't seen some of those colors of bunnies, but that's okay. We're cleaning out our closets. There you go. Can you see cleaning out the closet? And planting gardens. Keep it tipped. There we go. Planting the garden. See the little planties growing there? There are carrots and strawberries and lettuce. Those might be broccoli. And I don't know what the little teeny tiny ones are. Maybe they're going to be flowers. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Can you see them? I keep covering things with my thumb. There we go. Okay. Did you plant a garden? Did you do the planting the seeds with me? I hope so. Everyone, haha, <laughs> this is true. Everyone is sneezing. Ah, shoo. There we go. Ah, shoo. That poor elephant is sneezing. I bet you that little birdie's going to get blown away. Spring is the time of year to learn new things. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's see. There we go. So there the sheep are, I guess, going to play soccer. Can you see the pink sheep kicking the ball? Cool. Okay. Well, then. If this is a time to new, learn new things, I'm going to stop writing this book and I'm going to open my first restaurant, Taco Todd's, the end, love Todd. And there it is, Taco Todd's, can you see? There we go, the end, love Todd. And there's the taco. 
Wait, he's an author. You think he's gonna open a taco stand? Maybe, who knows? Surprise, April Fools. Don't worry, this story is not over yet. There we go. I'm not sure what kind of animal that is. I think that's a chick wearing bunny ears. You think so? That's what I think. Spring is a time to dance in the rain. Here we go. Oh, gotta tilt this one because of the greenness. Here we go. There you go. Can you see around the edges the way it makes it fuzzy? Here we go. That looks like a mom and a kid dancing in the rain or maybe a grandma dancing in the rain. And today is kind of a day that you could do that. The temperature said it's 61 degrees, but it feels really warmer for some reason. And it's very humid and it's overcast and kind of foggy. Because I can see out a window from where I'm sitting. Not the window behind me. That's the fake window. But there's a real window over there. Uh, it says, celebrate traditions with family and friends. Oh, and do you know what that is that they're celebrating there? Let me fold that back. They were celebrating Passover in that picture because you can tell by the food that's on the plates. At least I think that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it looks like to me. And then... It says, play hide and seek. And those kids, oh boy, let's see, how can we do this? Let's see, let me take it away. Sometimes when I sort of sneak it in there, now this one's really not gonna show. It's a tree. Can you see that tree and grass? And the kids are, are hunting for Easter eggs. I don't know if they play hide and seek with the, well, I guess it is hide and seek. You hide the eggs and then you find them and love the earth. Now this is gonna be probably hard because of the, all the greenness. There we go, and love the earth because of Earth Day is in April. Kids are there canoeing, families canoeing, all the critters in the trees, the mountains, the polar bears. Those kids are going for a hike, it looks like. Spring is a time for festivals. And then it says in Spanish, de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. I do not speak Spanish. Um, but what that means basically is in the spring, all the, all the land shows all the beautiful colors. Eating fresh fruits and veggies. There we go, there's the veggie stand. You see that? I'm not sure what some of those veggies are. It's kind of strange looking. Carrots, strawberries, bananas. Maybe those are apples, but apples grow in the fall. Maybe they're tomatoes. They could be tomatoes. Uh, maybe that's celery. I'm not sure. Having picnics. Oh boy, this one's not going to work. There we go. Yeah, not going to work. Having picnics. It's all green behind. <laughs> that's the green grass. Hugging moms on Mother's Day and every day. That's in May. That's coming very soon. There's the hugging the moms. See, and every day. And honoring heroes. Oh, and there's, there's a parade. Okay, I gotta get that one back a little bit there. And that's uh, for at the end of May, there's Memorial Day. When, we remember people who've gone to war. And it says, now go roll down some hills. Happy spring. And this picture is probably not going to show very well at all. Oops. It shows for that instant, and then it goes wonka doodly. Yeah, no, you can't. There they are, but you can imagine that's green. And the kids and the sheep. And the bunny are all rolling down the hill. And if you've ever tried that, it's not as easy as you might think. And grass stains really don't come out of clothes. So if you're going to try that, make sure you ask a grown up, find out if it's safe, and make sure you're wearing old clothes that don't matter. And then the last page says spring is a time of year to celebrate special holidays 
and discover all the beautiful things on the earth. The end. Love, Todd. And there you can see my tree is blanking out. There you can see the window through it. So strange. It's just so very strange when that happens. And it's hard because what colors are in picture books? Lots of colors. You don't even think about it. Green grass, green trees. That's why I didn't even think. I love that book about Brenda is a sheep, but I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it can work. Let me take a look. Let me see. Let me open some. Yeah, no, it's way too much green. You're not gonna see it at all. So let's see. Do we have time for one more? I think maybe we have to save this one for the next time. And you know what? I just realized I forgot to bring in my book of month poems. So maybe next month I'll read two. I'll read May and I'll read June the next time around. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed the stories. I hope you enjoyed spring and I hope you enjoyed Biscuit. I just love Biscuit. On May 1st, we will have the, which is today, the day this goes live, we will have the May 1st kits, grab and go kits available. There'll be another grab and go kit available on the 15th. And believe it or not, we're starting to get ready, figuring out what we're doing, setting, making our plans for summer reading program. So be sure to keep an ear out for what we're, we're going to do. And I hope to see you in the library soon. Remember to wear your mask. I have my mask on. And that's about all for now. Bye-bye. See you soon.